Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Wendy the cellist and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe right now and click that little bell icon so that you'll be notified of future videos and of course I'm on Instagram as well cellist Wendy Law and also Facebook. So today we are gonna talk about one of the most played and most famous cello pieces that everybody loves and that is box suite number one prelude and I know a lot of people especially younger students or beginners or people who are just getting comfortable to play the cello really want to learn this piece so I thought I would give you some tips and tricks on how to practice this piece so it sounds good I think one of the most challenging things about playing this piece is the string crossing so you're like how do I make the string crossings even so I do have some tips about that specifically for this video because once you master this then the piece is not as difficult as you think and a lot of it has to do with your mind so let's talk about string crossings so when you think about string crossings you're thinking that you know it's hard because you're like back and forth and you have to move the bow this way and then how do you make it even how do you control it but if you think of string crossing in this way it will become a lot easier first of all the first thing i want you to do is to play this as if is a double stop so what i mean by double stop is you play both strings at the same time check it out so instead of playing right so we're gonna do exercise not only for um, practicing the string crossing and also learning how to play double stops it also helps with your intonation see how I fixed it using the first chord here B and a D and what I want you to do now is to wiggle your hand well really it's your wrist but you don't go like this all you're doing is wiggle a little bit very little the bow contact both the A and the D string at the same time and once you've done that a few times I want you next to play like this so what am I doing exactly I'm playing both strings at the same time but I'm wiggling just a little bit but again, both strings are played at the same time. The bow has contact on both strings. You're just moving a little bit. So now we're going to wiggle a little bit more. And what I'd like to do is play it like it's normal. But you're thinking, this is your head, you're thinking as if you are playing both strings at the same time. Now what's the psychology behind this? The psychology is that when you're playing both strings at the same time that means your bow is very close to each other that your bow your the strings are very close to each other because i think what happens to a lot of people they think it's like this far away thing so they move the bow but it's actually you're barely moving between the a and the d string it's almost like as if you are playing double stops and you're just wiggling your hand so check it out just do that and then right there you're almost playing both strings at the same time but minimal distance minimal distance guys Okay, 
what is really wiggling? Is it your wrist? Is it your elbow? Is it your arm? Is it your fingers? What is it? Now you have to stay relaxed. And for me personally, it's mostly this motion right here like this. So this is a little bit of the wrist, but it's not like everything moves or nothing moves. It's, it's like, you know, everything is natural, but I'm just wiggling very slightly. It's sort of like I'm going like this. So everybody do this with me. Very little bit. A little bit of wrist action. It's not like this. It's tiny bit. You're just wiggling. You're just shaking, almost shaking. See that? That's the feeling. So you see, I'm not using any force. I'm not going like this. I'm not going like this. It's very minimal action right here. Now that we have the feeling of this, and we also have the feeling of the strings being so close to each other as if you're playing both strings at the same time, now it's time to try it out. Remember, try to play it as if it's a double stop. start playing it like it's a double stop. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see the complete performance of me playing box suite, you can click right here the cheap versus expensive cello video that I did. I played this three times on different cellos. So go check it out and don't forget to subscribe and like this video, share it with your friends. I so appreciate it.